What's going on guys and welcome back to the Stock Advantage. My name is Dan and today I want to talk about Zemetica. It started out as a great day pre-market, looked like it was going to run through the roof, and then we hit a wall. So without further ado, let's talk about that. Hey guys, so if you're if you're like me, you were watching the pre-market this morning and you're like, oh, Zemetica's looking pretty hot. Uh, and in pre-market, it ran all the way up to 272, um, which put it up 8.4% pre-market. Uh, and this is after after a couple days of some solid gains here. Had a little bit of a pullback uh, yesterday. Um, and then in pre-market, it was up. And so uh, I was pretty stoked. And then the rest of the market decided it was going to take a cool-off day. Uh, a lot of stocks were down today. Um a lot of your main stocks, a lot of the ones you guys probably follow were down. Uh, the indices all over were eh, kind of flat. Uh, they may have even finished down a little bit on the day. So, you know, it wasn't a great day in the market anyways. And so any little bit of spark that Zemetica had kind of got kind of got put out pretty quick. So uh, they did end up finishing. It uh, looks like we had a low of $2.09 today. I've recovered a little bit. Uh, finished the day at 226 and then it dropped down to 218 after hours so in total what started as up eight percent actually finished down about 12 percent on the day so a uh, tough day for some medica and so i want to talk a little bit about you know what happened so one positive thing is the volume it did see 182 million on volume against the three-month average of 178 uh, so it's still got some traction still doing pretty well uh, although there was more selling pressure today so the biggest news uh, that happened lately was they actually announced the first commercial sale of true forma so as most people know who have followed this stock the release date for true forma was supposed to be march 30th and if you check it's march 16th uh, and they actually did that i believe it was yesterday they did the um the first sale so um, you know, they've got the instrument with three of the first five assays available. The first buyer was the president of Guardian Veterinary Specialist, uh, Jason Burr. I'm wondering if that didn't kind of burst the bubble that everybody was playing hype up to the 30th, right? Everybody's planning for this big rollout, this massive thing. And then we sell basically it looks like one unit to one place, um, before they even roll out date. So it was kind of a weird day, uh, weird 24 hours with Zemetica. Not necessarily a bad thing. You know, maybe that shows some confidence that they have, that they're ready ahead of time. They're going to go ahead and get it out there. They're going to get the buzz rolling. Um, you know, they did announce that January partnership with uh, Miller Miller Veterinary Supply. Uh, and so that's going to be a distributor for the True Forma product. So, you know, I'm, I'm not sure yet. I'll have to see how the price works over the next couple of days, whether... You know, the, the market is going to see this as a good thing that they rolled it out early or they're going to see it as uh, you burst my bubble. I was ready to run this thing up to three, three fifty, um, which I was talking uh, that I thought they would hit that before um, the March 30th rollout date, that big catalyst date everybody was waiting on. You know, we didn't quite make it. We got close today. Uh, I think if we would have had another week or two of run up prior to that, I think we really would have hit the three to three fifty and we still may. Um, what I'm really hoping for over the next two weeks is more of news related to sales, pre-orders, those kind of things. I think that's going to be the next evolution of True Forma, right? They've got a product; it's on order. You know, now we're gonna now we need to see pre-orders, sales, those kind of things. That's what's going to drive this stock forward. It still is trading rich based on the fact that it hasn't made any money yet. Uh, and so the, the stock price is not going to climb through the roof. I don't see $10 right now. Uh, I think they're going to have to show that they can sell some of these, show the, the demand is out there for them and start getting some of those sales and post those news uh, items to us. And I think that'll get uh, investors more interested. Uh, still believe it's going to be a solid company in the long term, um, but we may have uh, already experienced the pop. Um, unfortunately, I, I think it would have ran up a little higher if they would have waited and made more of an event of the March 30th, maybe had like, you know, a big rollout of these are the orders we've got so far lined up. These are the ones going out today. Uh, but they kind of just sold one. So it was a little odd. Um, but I'm still looking forward to it. I think over the next week or two, um, hopefully they will, 
um, roll out or announce some more pre-orders, some more uh, distribution uh, metrics and we'll kind of see how the stock price plays out over the next few days you know maybe it'll bounce I'm, I'm hoping that if the market has a green day tomorrow this stock will kind of bounce back and you may have an opportunity for a 10 percent or so hit to get back to where it was uh, in the 240s or 250s that's kind of what i'm looking for i don't know what the future holds for this one in the next two weeks it all depends on what the company does and at this point they've already surprised us so uh, we'll see but overall, still still looks like this could be a, a very solid uh, company in the long term. I mean, you can see they're up a crazy amount already in the last six months. Uh, and it's not absurd for them to hit that $3 mark, which is still uh, a nice, you know, what, 20, 30% gain here. Um, and so I think, I think we will see some increased price. There's going to be some opportunity because of the volume, because of the um, interest related to this stock. There's going to be some swing trade uh, potential here. Uh, so you can look at it from that angle. Myself, I'm going to watch over the next few days and kind of see what happens. Hopefully, True Forma releases, or hopefully Zometica releases some more information on True Forma, some more pre-orders, some more numbers, and that will continue to drive the price up. So that's what I'm looking for. Again, I'm not a financial advisor, just doing this for entertainment purposes only. But if you do enjoy this video, make sure you like it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You know, click the link down below, True Free Stocks from, from Weeble. If you open an account and deposit $100, you get a stock, I get a stock, we get a stock. They don't get a stock. Just me and you. That, that's We're going to keep it that way. Um, so anyway, it's all I got for you today, guys. Until next time, have a great day and God bless.